Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today I'm bringing you my modded Convoy L2. Uh, two of those trees at the back there, where I'm trying to zoom into, is 300 meters. I can see hitting the trees nice and easy. I can make out any, everything on those trees there. Um, basically, uh, it's got a XP or HI V21A on a copper MCPB uh, running a BLF direct drive uh, X6 driver with spring bypass on the back and front. So we'll just make sure that it's on the mode. One more. And that's turbo mode there. It's at about 5.5 amps, about 6 amps. Uh, if we go to the end light post, you can see it re reflecting off the very end there. That's um, 340 meters. A little bit more to those reflectors is about 400 meters. Now if we switch around to the building there, that building is 220 meters. Uh, and it makes it that easy, even though the camera isn't focusing. That light post there, the first one, is 150 meters. So it'll focus on that very easy. Uh, with these mods, I'm getting 270 KCD, so 270,000 Candela. Um, and we'll see how it does against a few other lights while we're here. Alright guys, now we got all my modded um, C8 uh, direct drive with the XPG3. Uh, you can see it actually makes it to 300 meters pretty cruisy. Um, it might be easier for you guys to see it on this uh, on the camera because like it makes it there and it's more spread spread out. Uh, to the end post, I can see it lighting up the end post super cruisy. Uh, not as good as the L2, but it does make it there to 360 meters easy as. Uh, you can see it in the front field here because it's more spread out it does make it that easier uh, to the building at 200 so meters uh, makes it that easy and it just step down Let's see if we can step it back up for a minute so you can see it's fairly spread out to the back houses there will be pretty far away you're looking 400 meters easy and this um, XPG 2D domes in the C8 makes it that easy as I think the L2 might still need a bit of work on focusing uh, we'll switch to the XBL uh, D dome to see how that does. All right, guys. Now we've got the uh, XBL D dome in the C8. Uh, you can see it there to 300 meters, easy as makes it there easy. Uh, you can see it lighting up the light post, pretty cruisy. Uh, all the way at what, what did I say that was? 350 so meters. Uh, you can see it here to the first light post, pretty cruisy. Lighting up the field easy, lights up the building very easy at 200 meters. And I just stepped it back down, I'll step it back up. Alright, so we'll put back on the uh, L2 and see how they do side by side. Um, this is rated for about uh, 141,000 KCD. So the L2 isn't quite double, but it's almost double. Alright guys, now time for a side by side. Uh, that's the L2 on on direct drive mode. So it definitely does make it there a lot easier. Even if we look to those houses, I can see those houses getting lit up very, very easy. But I think because of the green color of the branches uh, in this light tint, it's a little bit harder to see. But if we go even further out, you can easily see it on all these little trees to the side here. And if we put it like through the whole field, you can see it lighting up the whole field very easy. Okay, so to the right is the C8, to the left is the L2. So we'll go to the tree at 300 meters. So that's the C8. You can just see it. And that's the L2. You can see it a lot easier. It's got kind of more penetration, I should say. And it's nowhere near as spread out.
Alright guys, now we're back on my house. Um, we'll try the L2 in my yard so you can see the brightness. 5, 6, 7. Alright, so this is mode 7 on the uh, BLF X6 driver. Um, you can see it's fairly bright. It's probably brighter than the C8 actually, because to me it's lighting up the backyard really, really well, even though it is a thrower. Uh, obviously it, it will wash out the tree because it is a cold white tint. About 6500K the V2 1As are, or I should say the 1A tints. Alright, so to 100 meters, you can see it gets there really, really easy. Although it does light up a lot of the tree, uh, you can see that there is a pretty big center hotspot there, that the hotspot is even tighter than the rest of it. So to 100 meters, it does really, really well, obviously. Um, in the video, because I've already filmed that video at the park, um, you can see it does get to 300 meters pretty cruisy, even on the video, uh, while it focuses. Uh, I know it goes out of focus, but at that distance, it's always going to lose focus, guys. Uh, sorry about that. I can't do any anything about it. Um, but yeah, but those C8s actually handled that distance really, really well. There's actually another tree that's down the road. I'll see if I can get to that. So you can see that tree that's in between there. That's 180 meters to that other pine tree all the way down there. Not the one that's closest to us, the one that's in the middle. It's 180 meters, and this thing gets there like daytime. Like, I can spot something out there super, super easy. So it's been a while since I've actually used a uh, XP or HI in a done-up light like this. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I might just quickly just go over um, the hotspots. I'll show you guys, and then that'll be it. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Alright, that's level 2. Okay, so to the right is the C8, which the, um, this one will be the uh, XPL D-Dome, I'm guessing, because you can see it is pretty yellow. So that's what happens when you D-Dome the tint. Um, you can see the L2 does have a pretty tight beam compared to the C8. Um, you know, when you repair, uh, sorry, when you, um, when you compare the reflector sizes, the C8 is 4.5 centimeters, I'm pretty sure and the um, L2 is only 5.5 so there isn't actually that much difference which I was surprised about I thought that the L2 would be a little bit, bit bigger but it's really not so I'm not expecting throw to be that much more so to be able to get 270,000 uh, CD can candela for a thousand and fifty meters throw is actually pretty good okay so then here we've got the um, uh, that'll be the uh, uh, XPG2, that's the D don't. Um, these two actually look a lot closer than compared to the XPL. And I was finding that this one did throw really, really well. But in the test, I also did find that the um, XPL done better. I think that could be because it does output a lot more light compared to the um, XPL D domes. But if I put the XPL D domes and the XPL HI together in my yard, which I might actually do, we'll see that um, that the um, XPL HI is still brighter. All right, so you can see clearly that the uh, that the L2 is still a lot smaller hotspot, but not by heaps. So even if we go up one, but now it might be a little bit easier for you guys to see, but they are fairly close. All right, guys. Now this is the um, C8 with the XPL D domed on the highest mode. So we can see that that gets there to 180 meters, pretty easy too. Um, not quite as easy as the L2, I'm not sure how you guys will be able to see it, but the L2 does get there a lot easier. Um, brightness, output over, overall, um, I think the uh, L2 is a little bit brighter. See, so if we show you the L2 now, that's the L2 lighting up the backyard. And I'll try and get this, whoops. That'll pretty much be brightest mode there. And that's the C8 lighting up the backyard so you can see that the uh, probably the XPL HI is a little bit tad brighter um, and this test does favor the C8 too so we'll go to 100 meters with that C8 with the XPL D, D don't so obviously you know to 100 meters you'll be able to say it easy even to the 300 meter mark I was surprised um, how well that they threw that far because 300 meters for such a small light is a lot of distance like I'm guessing that these lights the houses at the back are about 400 meters and they were hitting that really really easy and then that's the L2 there so you can see pretty massive difference um, that's where the extra candela comes in 
Um, the L2 isn't quite uh, twice as much Candela. In my best test, they got the 270,000, like I said, now that I have time, but it's not quite double. It's about one and a bit. Alright guys, so this won't be the only LED to stay in there. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to throw in a XPG2 and a D-Dome XPL, um, which I'll D-Dome again myself, uh, and try those in the um, L2 and see which one gets the best uh, the best results, and I'll bring you the winner of that pretty soon. Alright guys, this has been Chris from Everyday Survival Gear, bringing you the test and review of my Convoy L2. Uh, I hope you liked it, um, and uh, as always, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching guys.